We are doing sector coupling not for its own sake. Um, actually, why we're doing sector coupling is to deliver decarbonisation and to protect uh, consumers, but also citizens, um, and deliver a cost-effective transition. This uh, event was about sector coupling within the energy sector, how we can integrate better different sources of energy and also the, the end product with the, with the producing chain. And I think it's important to realize that decarbonization is a huge challenge where we have to make sure that, that all the choices we make are the most cost effective ways of actually limiting uh, use climate emissions uh, in accordance with the Paris uh, climate targets. And that means that we'll, we'll need different green solutions, but we can't give more time to fossil fuels. Sector coupling is not for achieving decarbonization but to do it in a cost-efficient and effectively way. So it's the way that we have to take the best from each of the energy carriers and give the solutions each need has its niche area or region. This is precisely why we need to talk about it now. Uh, we, we have different infrastructures, supply side oriented infrastructures. We now have so many new options of delivering decarbonization. For that, we need to work together, we need to integrate, we need to review our systems of decision making, of governing, of choosing priority infrastructure. This is why we need to talk about it. The EU has to have a leading role in the energy transition. Globally, many eyes are on what the EU does. So we have a new commission coming in with a very progressive agenda, and that's exciting. So this is a very exciting time for energy. And Europe really has to continue being the leader because we've seen people like the Americans drop out of the Paris Agreement. And so more of the weight has to be pulled by us. The role of the EU in um, this whole process is, first of all, set clear targets, keep our eyes on the ball, basically. Um, what, what are we trying to do is decarbonization. Define what the overall least cost pathway is, given all the uncertainties and, and, and unknowns we have, but define that, seek to, seek to close those gaps in knowledge, but also allocate the funding where it's most needed for those countries that have a more expensive um, transition pathway, for example, or those infrastructures that are new are harder to get off the ground. It will depend completely on where and when we're talking about, I mean, which region, which needs we need to decarbonize and what technologies we have uh, available at the moment. People from different backgrounds come together and try to, you know, not just think about their sector, that we are the best ones to, you know, solve the climate crisis and selling their own solutions. We have to look at the, the, the total picture, how, how Europe can be a leader in, in uh, reducing CO2 emissions, solve the cl solving the climate crisis, but also creating jobs in Europe, creating solutions for the whole world. And that's where we need to come together and, and being as effective as possible. <laughs>